Hi, my name is Ken Buck and I'm a Solution Architect for Elatech. In this video, I will present a short demonstration of our newest method to upgrade card readers in the field, the configuration card. My camera is on and presented here is our TWN4 card reader along with our new TWN4 configuration card programmer. Alongside are two previously used configuration cards showing the front and back of the card along with two test cards a 26-bit Prox card, and a 31-bit Honeywell NextWatch card. Now the TWN4 reader is currently configured with our standard default behavior, which will send the entire card number in hexadecimal format. So let's swipe each of these two bads and see the output. Here's the Honeywell NextWatch card, and the 26-bit Prox card. Now let's create a configuration card which will change the reader behavior so it decodes the number printed on each card and then we'll use that card to reconfigure the TWN4 reader. So let's open App Blaster from the 304 development kit. We select configurable project. Now these are both low frequency cards so from the low frequency group we select HID Prox and then we select Honeywell NextWatch. Now we're going to go down each of the items in the action items list. So let's start by expanding the prox card. This happens to be a 26-bit card, so we select 26 bits. And we're going to decode this as standard Wiegand. So starting at bit 9, 16 bits, decimal, this one happens to have a 5-digit output. The next watch is a 31-bit card. And the output format decodes starting with bit 4, and it decodes 27 bits and we want decimal and this has an 8 digit number as the output. Next we select the template and since I'm plugged into my laptop I'm going to use keyboard mode. Prefix suffix we're not going to address in this demo. Behavior signaling since I want this to be able to accept configuration cards in the future I select that. And then for options, I'm going to make this run a little bit faster. And since I'm plugged into a USB 3 port, we're going to select 500 characters per second. Now normally at this point, we would select Create Image, and that would compile this configuration. And then we'd program the reader directly. Since I have a programmer connected, we'll have two additional options, Create Config Card and Read Card Info. So let's select Create Config Card. And now it's compiling the application. Okay, it's asking me to present a card, and I'm going to present one of my previously used cards. It detects that and asks me if I want to overwrite the card, and clearly I do. Okay, this card has now been configured. So let's go back to the TWN4 reader, and now let's reconfigure it using a card. Okay, we set it on the reader. That beep means it's totally reconfigured, and it's rebooted. And now let's go back to Notepad. And let's test those two cards again. We swipe our first card, and now it shows the number printed on the back, 76009397. Let's swipe our prox card, and again there's the number printed on the back. That concludes this demo of App Blaster 304 and the configuration card programming. If you'd like a more in-depth overview of configuration card usage, please check out the configuration card programming tutorial. Thank you for watching and listening to this presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us via phone or email. Shown here is our contact information for the U.S. and for the rest of the world. Also shown is our email address for any support questions you may have. Thanks again for watching.